Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Today we're going to show how to remove an IBM type element on either a Selectric 1 or a Selectric 2. Um, the Selectric 3s generally don't get broken balls, broken type elements at the hinge because they redesigned them by then. But we have here is a Selectric 2, and it takes a type ball on the typewriter and when it's pointing forward that arrow is pointing toward the paper you should just be able to open this rocker Let's hold that down and pull this up and it comes off and there you go you change the type ball put it down you just kind of line it up and it pops to a secondary level down there close the lid Everything's good. You can turn the machine on, hit the shift, it's going to rotate 180. Everything is good. But what happens with these, or especially the earlier versions, come up with a little tight goes, is they made a earlier version of the tight balls. So this is the modified version, that's all plastic, the lid is all plastic, the old versions, they had a chrome hinge right here, so really the hinge is only this little plastic piece in the middle, this one has been strengthened to an all plastic hinge that doesn't seem to break. This one does, and when you pivot it, it doesn't open the wires in here. So it can, you can't remove it. It just is stuck. So let's show you how to type ball what has happened in there anyhow. So this is, let's say this is on the machine, and you got one of these with the chrome lid like this, and it won't open. So basically, What's happening underneath this lid is there's this wire right here. And what that lid does is separate these these ends on this side. Separates them and spreads them so they get past the groove there. So that's what we need to do. We need to figure out a way to get that around that groove. And the groove is, let me take this piece off here real quick. So the shaft that the ball sits down on. It's got a groove right here, and that's where this piece lines up and goes into. So, so when the type ball goes down on there, it's got that groove that protrudes. Let me get it lined up here. There it goes. So that's the way it looks on the, the typewriter. That's where you stick it on. So let's take a look at the typewriter. We're going to set this stuff aside here. And uh, we're going to do it on the machine. We're going to do a little. Get the light open here. Get some light in here. So I'm going to put the ball on this broken. I'm going to get it on here. And then I'll show you how to get it off. So it's broken. I got to. Gotta make it fit. Make it go down past those wires. So we get, get it on here first. Pretty tricky to. It's pretty tricky to put a broken ball back on a typewriter, but I think I can get it here. Done this before. It's not really cooperating. So it's on there, and it's stuck on there. In fact, the cap broke off and flew over here. So sometimes the cap stays on here, a little rocker piece, but it doesn't matter. Take that off. So the ball's on here, and it <clears throat> and it types. Everything 
it's actually working. But if you want to change the ball, you know, there's no way to do it. So, <clears throat> I think just the front, we're going to take the ribbon out of here. Just get this out of the way a little bit. Close that. So, what we need to do is get in here and separate those two wires. And you can barely see them. There's one on that side, and there's one on this side. And they want to close, you know, the, the, uh, the piece here. It needs to widen this gap right here on this side. And that's the way that's sitting in there is like this. So what we need to do is spread those two wires out. You can see them down there. You need to take this wire and push it that way. Get something pokey like this thing. And we're going to push that wire out of the way like that. But you simultaneously it has to do the other side at the same time. So here's, you get two of the pokey things. One and two pokey things. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this. Let me get a little more clearance here. So you can get one wedge down in here on this side, and one wedge down here on this side, and then you want to spread these wires and pull up. There it goes, just like that. So I got my dealie right there. And right there, and then that pulled up, and away the ball comes right off. That's the way I do it, but there's another way that you can do it. Let me put a, another tight ball on here that's broken. Okay, so that one's another one that's broken, and it's on here. And it's, it's broken. It won't. So there's another way to do it. And that's with a razor blade. So you take a razor blade, and what we're going to do is, this cap right here has got about five plastic studs that, that go through the holes here. One, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to cut those and remove the cap. So the razor blade will fit between the cap and the ball here. And just stick it in here and, and cut those pieces. You can get it in here and just push it. And you'll, you'll feel it doing something. Get it in here and cut, cut those tabs. Just be careful. You're using a knife. And when you do this side, you can turn the machine on and rotate it the other way. Turn the machine off and stick it in this side. Get it between there two pieces and and cut those plastic tabs with here. There goes one and when you do that, this cap will just lift off. You're just gonna break the cap off. So let me cut the. There's still another one here. I think I got that one. Let me go back to the other side and make sure I got all these. It feels like it's still feels like it's still on there. There it goes. I felt that one go. Then you can just kind of pry this cap off. Maybe uh, maybe use a screwdriver. And just pry this cap off like that. So there you go. The ball will still work like this. You just got to remove this, the wire, which is pretty easy. You just slip that. And there's a little piece of plastic in the way right there. Get that piece.
piece off. Then all you gotta do is push this wire off. Just squeeze it on off of there. And then the ball will slip right off. Like that. So that's how you a couple of different ways to remove a broken type ball. And usually your broken ones have the metal dealy. But that's my video of the day on how to remove broken IBM type element type balls. Alright, have a good day.